Hello, my Scorpios. Welcome back. Okay, so today what we're going to do is a little love quickie. See who's coming towards you or who's thinking about you if they're not physically coming towards you and what they want to say. Now, like always, it's a general reading, guys. <laughs> Take what resonates. I read how I read, you know, period. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, a link to my website is in the description box below. Now, um, I am getting something like, uh, in the pre-shuffle, heavy earth energy. You're either dealing with an earth sign or there's like an earth sign that watches you. It's like they see something uh, in you or with you, but I'm just getting like a watching energy because I feel like you are pretty independent or single doing your own thing. I'm getting like a lot of working and, and I, but I feel like whoever this individual is that's watching you, that wants you, you guys have very different lifestyles. One person has a faster paced lifestyle. The other person I want to say is a little bit more to themselves, um, they could live in a literally a place that is slower pace. And then also I was picking up that somebody here might have <clears throat> something, some sort of issue with their mind. This could be anything from, um, I'm hearing a lot of things. Okay, this could be like being split, either like split personalities or like being of two minds on something, not being sure, almost having like two wants of different ways of living, like wanting to live two lives. Um, that won't apply to, that will apply to some of you. Others of you, this person just has like, there's something going on here. Something weighs heavy on their mind. They may have PTSD or, uh, you know, I'm not exactly sure. They're not a bad person. That's not what I'm picking up. Uh, it's more just like something, maybe past trauma or something like that. To, to where it's it's affected their ability to choose or they get a little bit confused sometimes or this I mean it could be you depends on you know okay so let's see who's coming towards Scorpio in love please who's coming towards Scorpio we're thinking about the Scorpio in love Lover's card, okay, could be a Gemini. This person feels very passionate about you. If they've connected with you before, they remember it very well. <laughs> Something about you left an impression, but if you guys have not connected before they kind of like fantasize about this well, who's coming towards uh, Scorpio in love please this person is actually deeply romantic something about like uh, they could be very into music or it's like I I'm feeling like they have a tough exterior but they're deeply sensitive um, secretly it could be like poetic almost because I'm getting something about words songs all right. They could have done something. <clears throat> I'm hearing entertainment. And. And maybe. There wasn't a lot of financial benefit to it. It was more of a passion it was burdening in a financial sense or they will find it to be, but they could be in like, it's 
uh, some sort of entertainment. Could be a band. Does it? Um, I don't know, a poetry club, a, uh, I, I don't know, Three of Cups. Just this individual has a very artsy side to them. <clears throat> but they may have experienced a loss because of this recently. Or maybe uh, someone in the group that they're working in, this, the relationship is going sour. This is the person that's coming towards you. They're having something going on. What else about this person? Ace of Cups. They love Scorpio. They could be a brand new person. You could know nothing about this individual, but when they see you, um, <clears throat> I, I, I feel like you may have seen each other before because I was getting a lot of desire here in this lover's card. So I want to say that they've been thinking about you for a little while, regardless of if you've been romantic with them before or not. I mean, I don't know, but this is new love, though. So if this individual, if maybe um, you guys tried to connect in the past and somebody couldn't make it or they didn't show up or this person now wants to show up. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I'm now I'm really kind of feeling that like maybe you guys had tried to connect before and something didn't work out well. This person wants to move towards making it work out this time. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They could have they could be moving in their in the future to a new home purchased or or not. It doesn't matter, but I did hear purchased. Um, or they recently moved something like that. And they have a lot of burden in regards to their family or something they feel obligated to. For some of you, this individual could have been married or some or uh, just has a lot of family burden. Okay. <clears throat> How will Scorpio recognize this person in love? Woo. This is the type of, they, they want to, some of you, they may want to move in with you in the future, whether or not they've expressed that, or they could see it going that way. They just seem very, I don't know, if they were cold in the past, they've warmed up now. In fact, they could be overly emotional about you in the future, where it's like such a switch. It's like they... Um, okay, how will they recognize, how will Scorpio, yeah, they got to say something, speak, they're speaking, express your truth. For some of you, distance could be a factor, could be just emotional distance. <clears throat> okay, how will Scorpio recognize this person? <laughs> I'm not sure what I think about this. Uh, Queen of Swords. Hmm. There, for some of you, this person could have dark hair. <clears throat> I'm getting that they're like emotionally cold or they come across that way. They're not ruled by emotion. And, um... You guys could have different styles of sense of humor, or this person could be lacking a sense of humor. They're very serious, or they were serious with you. They're extremely intelligent, though. But I, I'm feeling like when they return this time, or if they want to, you know, they want to approach you in a more warm way, manner maybe because last the last way didn't work or you know however you've interacted with this person before <laughs> they want to warm up 
they they also like your independence I, I'm getting like they could compliment that they love how you're so independent or they like that you stand on your own very well all right so what does this person want to say to Scorpio please I mean, I choose to do these readings during a retrograde, so this could be anybody. I mean, it could be like your co-worker to an ex. I have no clue, Scorpio. All right, what does this person want to say to Scorpio, please? What does this person want to say to Scorpio? Queen of Pentacles, lots of earth energy. Did I say that already? Um, I, I'm... They may want to be a little bit more humble to you. They may also give you a gift. All right, what do they want to say to... Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm a mess with these cards. What do they want to say to Scorpio? Could be a Capricorn here. Oh, they just love you, Scorpio. That's what they want to say. They just love you. And to the point to where they're almost obsessed with you. I mean, could be a twin flame you're dealing with, but they just this person could also just be a Capricorn or have Capricorn in their chart, Capricorn Moon. Some something like that. Um <clears throat> They can't stop thinking about you. They could have met you while they were working or while you were working or, or, and I feel like they also can't get out of their mind. You guys could have had plans to build together or wanted to build, or this person just wants to build with you. I can't, they can't get this off their mind. They want Scorpio. They want to love you. They um, but again, this is like, I almost feel like they, they feel as if they couldn't let go, even if they tried here with this chain, like they're just, they're just, <laughs> wow, one more thing for what they want to say, but something about this, you know, maybe you're not giving them attention or you're not paying, so it's almost like they have all this these feelings but this is the reality of the situation five of pentacles it's not because there's some sort of with the moon energy a misunderstanding or um someone feels like there's just more going on or a lack of trust and there's a reason why there isn't a, being attention given to this. You could be busy with work if this is somebody you haven't dated before. Let's see what Scorpio, what does Scorpio have to say to this person? Um, <laughs> they might find you a little bit intimidating because they might view you a little bit hot hot on the temper but I think you're just kind of you just you're not taking the life has taught you some things so you only tolerate a certain amount um, okay what does Scorpio want to say to this person they're dealing what do you want to say to this person oh you gosh <laughs> you don't know I mean, you could have other things going on on your mind, but I just feel like you, maybe you're not even paying attention to this right now. I, I feel like there's something else that has you preoccupied and it's not really even personal to anybody. So you're like, emotions? What? These cups? Look at all those cups. You're like, I don't have time to even look at those cups. Something You're doing something else. What else do you want to say? King of Cups. And the tower, your energy could be dealing with another uh, Scorpio or perhaps a Cancer or Pisces. Something, they could have surprised you or something they did shocked you. Uh, you guys could be like a good emotional match and have a lot in common. But I feel like this is very, uh, with Four of Swords, arrest. 
Mm, I don't know. I mean, you could just have other things going on and like this person might have disappointed you or may disappoint you in the future. Or, you know, it's like, I feel like they're, they're, their arrival surprised you and their uh, exit will surprise you or did. <laughs> it's just something that like you may, I'm just feeling like you might not be able to deal with this. Some of you could have, be careful, take care of yourself, Scorpio. I'm hearing like a, a breakdown, like you may have an emotional breakdown. You might get a little bit stressed out. Nothing you can't handle though. You're the tower and death card, Scorpio. Don't forget it. You know, but but I am hearing that, that like something or your health, some of you, I'm hearing something about the hospital as well. So, or that you may know somebody that's in the hospital. So you just have a lot going on. So that's, I think, so, 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 <laughs> sorry. I'm going to let you go. But yeah, I'm just feeling like you're in overload. This person has so much love to give you and you're like, you know, backed up in some sort of way or really abstracted. All right. That's what I have for you, Scorpio. Bye-bye.